Okay, this is it. Number two. I'm not doing number one, that's Grace. Okay, that's just the way things fell out, you know. Um, apparently, she's contracted to do number one. I, I, I'm not bitter about that. I'm kill her. Kill her now. I mean, it's fine. Number two is great. Number two could be just as important as number one, you know. Yeah. Anyway, number two. Uh, is an all-time favourite villain of mine. Just a brilliant villain. Uh, and it's exciting to be able to do it because it means I can, I, I get to do this. He tasks me. He tasks me and I shall have him. I'll chase him round the moons of Nebula and round the Antares Maelstrom and round Perdition's flames before I give him up. Yeah. That was an incredibly bad impression of my number two pick, which is Khan or Khan Noonien Singh. So he first came into Star Trek in Space Seed back in the day in the, in the series and he was a great villain then. Um, and then it was a genius move to bring him back for Star Trek 2. And because the two stories just tied up, you know, and you'd completely forgotten about that guy. And he was a proper villain in that first Star Trek. He was taking out people left, right and centre. So when he, when he came back with Rafa Khan, he was even more pissed off, which to be fair, I mean, he had been dumped on the planet for like 20 odd years, so he would be a little bit pissed off, wouldn't you? Again, he didn't really have a plan. His only plan was just to mess up Kirk's day. Really? Just to give him a hard time. That, that, you could have really called it Star Trek II giving Kirk a hard time. Even when the guy was dying, half his face was hanging off and burnt to a crisp, the man still was trying to take Kirk out. Khan, for me, is what villainy is all about. It's about dedication, purpose, it's about putting yourself on the line. And also, it's about having a doomsday weapon that you can use to destroy the guy who's abandoned you 15 years ago and has now come back into your life. And that is why, for me, Khan is my number two pick. Um, and now we're going to find out what the number one pick is from Grace. Again, I'm not bitter that she's doing number one. No. Kill her. But let's be honest, Khan is really the better one, isn't he? You know, whatever she picks, we all know it's Khan. Me and you, we know it's Khan. So, over to you, Grace. Yes, you're doing number two, I'm doing number one, and you're just going to have to get over it. So our favourite evil overlord at number one is Milner from the TV series Utopia. She's the head of The Network, an organisation that plans to sterilise most of mankind with a flu jab in order to decrease the population and save the world's depleting resources. Milner's been planning this massacre for decades, and the genuine reasoning behind it makes her far more formidable than any gloating mad scientist manically laughing inside a volcano. If demand for fertiliser increases at current rates, phosphates end this century, and that means no food. I know, you don't have to Do tell you? Because I don't think you do. If you really knew, you'd understand that we have no choice. We hope you enjoyed our Evil Overlords countdown with Geek Syndicate's Barry Nugent. Tell us who your contenders would be in the comments below and subscribe for more geeky videos like this. He can do number one next time, can't he, Joe? Number four for me, this is a biggie. All I'm gonna say is, Goldfinger, he's a man, the man.